Welcome back to Unity. If you've made it this far, you've successfully downloaded and installed the Unity editor and selected a game template to start learning and experimenting with. I've selected the cart template, but you can follow along with whatever you've chosen just as well. If your screen doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry. We're constantly making small improvements to make the experience better. The core concepts, however, will remain the same. Let's get started with our first walkthrough, which will help us to learn the basics of creating in the Unity editor, including playing your game to test it, tweaking it, and testing again and again and again. To do so, we're going to click the Start button. Perhaps the most important button in Unity is the first one we'll press, the Play button. When we press it, our game will play. In my game, because I've selected the cart template, this now means that I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to drive around the track. Cool. Once I've driven around a little bit and realized that I'm actually better at making games than driving, I can press the play button again to exit play mode. Since I'm already bad at driving, maybe the solution is to just go faster. This may be a terrible idea, but it's a video game, so let's give it a try. When we exit play mode, we can see that the walkthrough system has highlighted a new part of the screen. This is called the hierarchy. This shows us a list of all the game objects in our game world, or scene, as it's called in Unity. Let's click Next, and then click on the cart game object to select it in the hierarchy. Once it's selected, we can move on to our next step. Now that the cart is selected, we can make changes to it using the inspector window. If we selected a different game object in the hierarchy, we could examine its properties and make changes to it in the same way as well. Let's click Next to continue. Our walkthrough has highlighted the default stats fold out for us. Now we can see that the top speed field is highlighted. I'm going to type in 50 to double the default. I'm sure with greater speed my driving will improve. Let's click Next to go to the next step. Now that we've made a change, it's time to test. Click the play button again to enter play mode. For those of you who like keyboard shortcuts like me, you can enter and exit play mode using Control-P on Windows or Command-P on Mac. Now I can crash into the walls twice as fast. Great! I think we're onto something here. Click Done and this walkthrough will end. You'll see on the right side of your screen a list of other available walkthroughs, or you can just experiment on your own if that's what you're into. In the next short video, we'll take you through the second walkthrough and continue with getting to know the Unity editor so that you can create your vision.